계속 와봐. 거의 I went to Munich to kill myself. Afraid of them, I have been for years. All police, but these are much more frightening. Being alone with them in a room with a locked door is paralyzing. I looked at the carpet the whole time. I thought, good, they have a carpet. They won't do anything that will get blood on the carpet. And the main one grabbed my face and slapped it. I started crying. Being always terrified of pain, he said to me, "In the woods outside Munich, do you know what we are building?" I said, "No," and he said, "A camp for people like you." criminal record. I, I can't get out easily, so I expected them to arrest me immediately after letting me go. Something they do. So I decide to kill myself. In Munich. I want to go to another city so that none of you will be asked to identify me afterwards. So I took the night train. When I got there, I bought a revolver and four bullets, extras. Hmm. I can't imagine why I thought in extras. Anyway, I wanted to be found by people who aren't particularly frightened or upset by death. Nuns who care for the terminally ill better than some cafe ruining some waiter's whole day. But I figured killing myself in the midst of a bunch of nuns was probably a much more serious sin. So I went to the park. I met a remarkably attractive young Silesian there. Fatigue makes me easy to arouse. I realized after my young Silesian friend left that it had been nearly a week since my last orgasm. Too much pent up energy, the result? Depression. Add to it the nightmare of the last few days. Suicide. One brisk interlude with a pliable friend and my desire to live. Return to me in all its hot, tainted glory. Well, here I am, in Munich, with little money, a loaded gun, and a whole day to kill before the night train to Berlin. What to do? I went to the cinema, and you're not going to believe what happened. It was a Dietrich film. It'd be early in the day, there was hardly anyone there. Just me, some old people, and some war vets. When all of a sudden, into the theater marches a squadron of brown shirts, and guess who else? It was him. In a slouch hat and a trench coat. And there was someone else with him. A man I didn't recognize. I told you I wouldn't believe, but it's perfectly true. Adolf Hitler. 
and he sat down through the ropes in front of me. The essay said in back of him, but I had a clear view of the back of his head. I could see the oil in his hair. The film got going, I was thinking to myself, life plays funny tricks. Here we are watching a Dietrich film. Ten pensioners? Six war purples? Adolf Hitler and me. A homosexual Sunday anarchist with a loaded gun in his pocket. I left. I couldn't get my hands to move, to even begin to move towards the pocket that had the gun. Because I might have killed him, but they would have certainly killed me. And I don't want to die. I do not want to die! A friend has arranged a phony passport and visa. They will be ready in six days. I'm leaving. That's what I come to tell you. I'm leaving.